which is very emotional for him. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy the way he came out there and played. I know there's more to come, and he's definitely going to have a big year. So you guys play the same position, but you have kind of a love and a brotherhood uh, for that guy. You're oh, yeah, no matter what we, uh, position we play, we play the same position. Uh, we're not worried about nothing. we just going out there and make each other better. Uh, just like in the run-up room, how it was uh, over there. Yeah. It's the same thing. Just come out every day, compete with one another, and just help each other get better. Curtis, sure. with Jalen and Dontre back, are they are they at H now also with you and Braxton? Or are they at receiver some? Or how's that going to shake out at H back now? Yeah, I mean, we, got a, we definitely have a couple guys at H uh, now since uh, those two guys came back. But like I said, we all going to just go out there and just give it our all the, on the practice field. and. Coach Mario gonna make the decision. You How talked anxious to, are those guys to get back out there? Have you talked about that? What is, oh yeah, we like like I said, uh, in that in that uh, in that room, we all a close group. Uh, them guys, they are uh, very hungry to come out and uh, to get back and you know show what they got. You have enough of them now. You lost. We all gonna go out there and all gonna we all gonna go out there at practice and make plays and whoever, whoever make the most plays, I guess that's what we're gonna play. You said on your touchdown, you had the you had your one on one matchup out there. and right. got, gave you a chance. In your development at this position now, which you've been at since the spring, what do you need to do to win those matchups? What could you do in that moment that maybe in the spring? You wouldn't have been able to do. What? How did you have to develop as an H to win a one-on-one -on -one battle like that? I could just say, uh, since I've been playing H since the spring, is the training. I I got more training since the spring. Uh, a great receiver coach, Coach Smith. Uh, he put us in a, in a position every day at practice in that situation to go beat a guy one-on-one. -on -one, and I reverted back to my training in that situation, and I got the job done. Talk about that play. Do you feel that proves your wide receiver now? I mean, there's not many guys that are going to fight that guy off and make the catch on that play. I don't think that play uh, proved that I'm a receiver. Mm -hmm. I felt like I, no matter if I, no matter if I made the play or not, uh, when I go out there, I give it my all. I block on the perimeter for the running backs, the quarterbacks, and I go out there and run perfect routes. What was How the connection you had with Cardale on that play? It seemed like you and he saw it, must have locked eyes at some point, because he throws the ball, you make a great adjustment and bring it in. Uh, with a great quarterback, I mean, he sees he go he goes to his favorite whatever matchup he feel like is gonna win a is gonna win a battle. Like I said, I feel like I had a I had a one one matchup. It was my job to win, and got there through the ball. How, How hard describe? is it to avoid complacency this week with a game that's unlike the Monday contest, receiving zero hype outside of your locker room? I don't. Know. I mean, we don't we don't feed into that. All we know we know we have to go out there every day and get better. Uh, yeah. Just go out there and just get better. Don't worry about what everybody else got to say about you. Don't worry about what the media got to say about you. Just go out there and just try to get better every day.